pharmacological chaperones, and lysosomal storage disorders. The human body is made up of trillions of cells. Inside most cells is a set of compartments called organelles that performs many functions. Each organelle performs specific functions. The organelles responsible for protein synthesis and transport are the nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, or ER, and Golgi complex. In addition, lysosomes are where proteins and other cellular components are degraded back into their basic building blocks. Normal protein folding and mechanism of disease. Proteins are assembled from amino acids, and their sequence is determined by the DNA genetic code contained in genes within the nucleus. Many DNA mutations, such as small insertions or deletions, missense, and RNA splicing, still give rise to biologically active proteins. In lysosomal storage disorders, missense mutations are the most common mutation that may lead to the production of misfolded or unstable enzymes. Missense mutations are very subtle and result in a protein with a single amino acid substituted for another at only one position. These single amino acid changes can lead to instability of the protein's three-dimensional structure or even more extreme misfolding. Less stable or misfolded enzymes may not pass the stringent quality control mechanisms in the ER. This often leads to premature degradation of the enzyme before most of it can get to the lysosome. Although less stable and with an amino acid change, some enzyme may still get to the lysosome where it may have some activity. However, there is less of it and it may not function optimally. The ER quality control mechanisms thus reduce the trafficking of mutated lysosomal enzyme to the lysosome. Because there is less activity of the enzyme, the substrate accumulates and can disrupt normal biological function, which ultimately leads to the clinical signs and symptoms of lysosomal storage disorders. The pharmacological chaperone molecule. Pharmacological chaperones are molecules with a variety of different sizes and shapes. These molecules are often designed to mimic part of the natural substrate of their target enzyme. Pharmacological chaperones selectively bind to their target protein and stabilize the correct 3D conformation. They are known as reversible competitive inhibitors, which means they can detach from the enzyme so that it can degrade the substrate. Pharmacological chaperones are orally administered and they are physically small relative to the proteins. These small molecules have broad tissue distribution, meaning they can get to cells in many different tissues throughout the body. Proposed Mechanism of Action In the ER, where the pH is relatively neutral, the pharmacological chaperone has a high affinity for its targeted lysosomal enzyme. The pharmacological chaperone molecule binds to the active site of its specific target enzyme, resulting in increased stability for the enzyme. In this way, lysosomal enzymes that are less stable because of missense mutations may be stabilized sufficiently to resemble normal enzyme, pass the ER quality control mechanisms, and enter into transport vesicles bound for the lysosome via the Golgi. In lysosomes, the pH is more acidic, and there tends to be large amounts of substrate that can compete with the pharmacological chaperone for the lysosomal enzyme's active site. These factors cause the pharmacological chaperone to dissociate from the enzyme's active site and enable the enzyme to degrade the accumulated substrate. The enzymes last for several days in lysosomes, while pharmacological chaperones have a relatively short half-life. The pharmacological chaperones leave the cell and the body so that the enzymes can complete the job of degrading substrate. Pharmacological chaperones increase the stability of lysosomal enzymes and their trafficking from the ER to lysosomes. 
In this way, the enzyme's required cellular activity is increased, leading to improved degradation of accumulated substrate.